All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to talk about is how to grip a bocce ball as we're getting prepared to roll it. But one of the things I did want to call your attention to before we did that, since we're doing a close-up shot here, is you notice that these are both red bocce balls, obviously, but you notice that they're actually striped a little bit differently. So in this case, this bocce ball has a combination of stripes and circles on it. And then this bocce ball actually is all stripes, all right? So the reason for this is that partners would know which ball they throw. So if you had a team of two, there's going to be two red and two striped, sorry, two circles and two striped. And that way you know. And this actually makes it really helpful also if we don't want to have teammates share the same ball for um, due to COVID, that you can have one person be your circle person and one person be your straight person. The other thing that we're recommending too is another way to designate whose bocce ball is being rolled is to just use a, a little piece of blue painter's tape. All right. Now, as far as the grip is concerned for a bocce ball, you're basically using the entire hand. All right. So you place the bocce ball in your hand. You're using your pinky and your thumb essentially as guides and to make sure that you're holding the ball securely. And what you're doing is you're creating a channel with your other three fingers to roll the bocce ball. All right. So the grip is like this. I want to make sure that an athlete is able to do that. And then the point is, is that when you roll the bocce ball, the bocce ball should be coming out of a flat hand using this channel of your three fingers in order to make sure that you're guiding the ball correctly. All right. So I'm just going to roll the ball real quickly just to show you my hand. The other thing, too, is that a lot of our bocce athletes also are bowlers. And there's a big difference between you, how you roll a bocce ball versus how you roll a bowling ball. And the biggest thing is that you don't want to create spin. Or even if you did try to create spin, it's really hard to spin a bocce ball on grass. Much different than in a bowling center where you really want the spin so you can drive a bocce ball, uh, sorry, the bowling ball into the pocket. So in this case, you want to keep a flat hand so that you're able to guide the ball and shoot it as, as straight as you possibly can towards your target. So again, you want to kind of get the bocce ball here in your hand and then use that channel and have your hand go straight up. Try and keep it as flat as you possibly can when you roll the bocce ball. 